There you go, fellas. This is the finished box. It's it's not great, but it's my first box that I've made and 3D printed. Um, I had to do some modifications. It's using a a powered system now rather than a battery powered, as the, uh, the USB battery thing had absolutely no reverse polarity protection and uh, I fried two. So uh, lesson learned there. Um, but the Pi is mounted on the side of the screen. The speakers are in the back. Uh, the amp's in there. And uh, if I can just get this to happen without any reflections, you should be able to see. There we go. This one handed. There we go. I've uh, I've still had a few little issues here and there. Uh, I'm not using the power booster anymore. And um, uh, as a result, the uh, power when the volume is cranked f completely um, is a little bit uh, twitchy. It goes under voltage on the Pi, so we're probably just drawing a bit too much through the Pi. Um, and it comes up with a little rainbow in the corner. Um, but other than that, and loud is really loud. I mean, it's, I wouldn't play it on that volume. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. I mean that's that's down fairly low. If I get ready. There we go. See the corner. See in the corner the little uh, rainbow ready. coming up. We're right on the edge of it, but uh, other than that, it's uh, it's absolutely playable. So there you go, Raspberry Pi 2 Retro Pi in a 3D printed case with a 5-inch screen um, uh, and all that. Cheers, bye.